India's premier space agency, Indian Space Organization of the ISRO, has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at a very convenient prices. However, it's pretty competitive space nowadays. Elon Musk SpaceX has a decent run in the past couple of days on the recent successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket, which has paved the way for launching heavy satellites into space, including a crew model. SpaceX and ISRO are the competitors of sort of in the business of commercial launches. But the real question is, SpaceX or the ISRO, India's space agency, who is winning the real space race? And we are here to find out what it is in the animatic show. Okay, first some facts. ISRO is an experienced companion in the field of space explorations, as it's been launching rockets into the space earlier as 1975. From sending India's first satellite into space, Aryabhata, to successfully launching some of the most historic missions like Chandrayaan 1 and Mangalyaan to Mars, ISRO has done it all by its own. Meanwhile, SpaceX is a new kid on the block and really isn't as big space company or a big space exploration agency, at least not as big as ISRO, compared with its huge history. SpaceX was founded in 2002 by the entrepreneur Elon Musk with the aim to provide economically efficient ways to launch satellites and also colonize Mars, of course. And if we have the comparison between the ISRO and the SpaceX, the missions and the organizations have, ISRO is run by the government of India's organization, established in 1969, an annual budget of 8,939 crores. The total mission since 1975 is 96 spacecraft of 66 launches. Reusable launch capability and development. Mangalyan mission to Mars cost over 450 crores. And if you look at the SpaceX, it's run by CEO Elon Musk. Established in 2002, a net worth of $20 billion, rupees 13,035 crores. The total missions will be 51 launches since 2010. Reusable launch capabilities achieved. The SpaceX missions $60 million per mission or 402 crores of India. There is also a big difference in terms of cost per mission. For example, the Falcon 9 launch vehicle's cost per mission is up to $62 million, while ISRO's Polar Satellite Lands vehicle or PSLV cost roughly $15 million per launch. But the size of the payloads are different as the Falcon 9 carries much heavier bulk than the Indian rockets. So and now, if you look at the both entities, ISRO and the SpaceX, who has the heavy liftoff rockets? In ISRO, GSLE Mark III with 4000 kg or the 4 ton liftoff payloads, and GSLE Mark IV will be having 27 ton or 27,000 kg with payloads. And if you look at the Elon Musk SpaceX heavy lift rockets, the Falcon Heavy, which can lift payloads of 63 ton or 63,000 kg. And the mother of all rockets, the BFR, which can lift 150 ton of payloads, which is 150 lakh of kilos. And if you look at the ISRO and the SpaceX missions to outside Earth, will be orbiting Earth, of course, or beyond Earth. ISRO, the Chandrayaan 1, which went to Moon, and Mangalyaan, or the MOM, which went to Mars. SpaceX Falcon Heavy test flight with a spacesuit all called the Starman which went with the car to Mars but which didn't make to Mars or maybe may not make to Mars. The upcoming missions of both the entities ISRO and SpaceX. In 2018 or the upcoming mission this year will be Chandrayaan 2 and GSLV Mark 3 rocket will be carrying it. In 2019 Aditya 1 towards the sun. It will be carried by the PSLV rocket. In 2020, Indian Venus and Orbiter mission to Venus. Of course, it will be carried by the PSLV rocket. In 2022, the Mangalyaan 2 towards Mars. And mission to Jupiter and manned mission to Jupiter will be announced soon. And manned missions to Moon and beyond Moon in upcoming years which will be to be announced. And if you look at the SpaceX upcoming missions, uh, there is no certain date or year for the SpaceX, but the upcoming missions will be considered there to orbit the Earth with a capsule crew or with their crew members, to send man to the moon or with the unmanned moon mission, and to send 1 million people to Mars by the BFR rockets 
by 2024, which will be happening before or after 2020. So these are the impressive stats of both the entities. One of India's most celebrated successes that have enabled the world is its Mars Orbiter mission, the maiden interplanetary mission of ISRO, which was launched on November 5, 2013 by the PSLV C-25 rocket, was put into Martian orbit on September 24, 2014 in its first attempt. The Mangalyaan or the MOM has completed about 1,100 days in orbit. India's 74 million dollars, called the Mangalyaan, was, was roughly a tenth of National Aeronautics and Space Administration, called NASA's Mars Mission Maven. This spacecraft was designed to last for only six months or the 180 days in the Martian orbit, but had surpassed all the expectations it has completed four years in space. India's Mars mission was launched on November 5, 2013 from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. On December 1, 2013, it escaped the Earth's gravitational field to its 10th month along or the Long Space Odyssey. 
After completing its standard day journey, the spacecraft successfully entered the Martian orbit on September 2014, 21st, making India the first country in the world to have successfully reached Mars and its first attempt. During its entry into the Martian orbit, the Mongolian was carrying 40 kg fuel load. In June this year of 2017, the Mongolian had spent 1000 days of errors in Martian orbit. During this period, the spacecraft had completed 388 orbits around the red planet Mars. Here are the few things that Mars mission of India or the ISRO's interplanetary mission succeeded in Mars. The focal objective of MOM or the MYM is to work on the technologies required for designing, planning, managing and operating at an interplanetary mission for the future of ISRO. It was easily the least expensive Mars mission till date, which was also the first attempt successful. It is also secondarily working on obtaining data penetrating to the red planet's surface features, morphology, mineralogy and the Martian atmosphere. MOM's competence is driven by the presence of these tools, a color imaging camera, a thermal infrared spectrometer to measure the chemical compositions of the surface and the instruments to assess Mars' atmosphere. It also has produced over 715 images still date. MOM is also well equipped to take care of itself for longer periods without any ground interventions. It's a matter of great pride that India's or the ISRO's Mars Orbiter mission have exceeded the expectations and is helping us pave way for the bigger and more elaborate and the path-breaking mission for India and its scientists of ISRO or the Indian Space Research Organization. So what do you think of ISRO's Mars mission Mangalyan has successfully crossed 1,100 days in Martian orbit? which was tend to be only 180 days or 6 months. Post your comments below and if you like this video please give us thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this is WC Daily Think Big Think Different Bye.